got a chatbot that takes content in both text and audio, which is pretty fantastic. And then it's doing some AI to generate some buttons. But the problem is this. In order to get it to work, I had to uh, split the parts. If it's audio, I need to do a transcription and then start to do the AI work. And if it's text, just start doing the AI work. And pretty quickly, it becomes unmanageable because I'm trying to iterate on the AI part of determining the action, action buttons uh, in two different places. And I have to keep copying and pasting, and this is ridiculous. I want to be able to do this work one time. Fortunately, uh, there is a page on make.tom called Converger. Unfortunately, it's to tell us there is no Converger module and we have to figure this out for ourselves. If you've ever had this problem in uh, Make and you've needed to have just one path, you just want to consolidate all your behavior into one path, uh, this is the video for you. Let's get started. What we're looking for here is to be able to uh, detach. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to delete this. Um, we will uh, unattach here and we'll come back to this shortly. What I want is this to be down here on a third row. So we've already got our router. And so just to go through what's happening here is um, the message comes in. And if uh, if in the body of this message is, uh, we look in here, this is, so this message actually came back from the, the device itself. Um, so it's just ignored it. But uh, let's let's put a couple messages through. Run once. Uh, I want milk. So the text. So you can see that it's come down through here. It was text only, uh, and that it had no file attachment. And so it's come down this path, and it's run this method. Uh, it's run this action, which is to say your text was, and then just regurgitated it. And of course, then we want to come down and do our behavior. Um, Whereas if we, we run this again, if we pass in audio, I want some milk and some bread. It will come up here, download the voice message, try, use transcription, uh, and then regurgitate it back to us. And of course, now we wish to do our AI and figure out what actions we want to take. The problem is, is that I can't just attach these two here. Um, inside this route, they don't have access to uh, to the text. Let's bring those up here. So at the end here, we have some text. Um, you know, we have some text, uh, whatever we said, or we, have, or we also have the text that came out of, uh, of the Grok module. That's the text there. And this is the text we'd like to, to perform uh, the uh, AI evaluation on. But in this, um, this one, uh, we were fetching the text from back from over here. Um, and the problem we've got is that this route, this third route, uh, which has no filter on it, will always be run. So it cannot fetch values that come from either of the two previous routes. And this is the challenge we've got. Um, so just to recap, so a request comes in here, it either goes up here or to here, but it always goes to the third route. And so the solution to this problem, to keep this short and brief, save everyone's time, is we're going to store it in a variable um, and then look up that variable. So let's also, um, oh, well, let's just stay store it here. Um, so set variable. So first, first variable was, uh, was it audio using audio, but we might want this for something. I, I don't have an immediate use for it yet. Uh, so yes, we were using it for audio. Maybe later on we wish to reply with audio, but for the moment we'll just save the fact that we were using audio. Um, and then we want, and then the text, which was the transcribed text, um, which was came out of Grok. There we go. Rename, um, or text and then down here we wish to do the same thing set variables uh, using audio we'll say is false text was from just the original text that came through the message uh, which would be here and we'll 
also say uh, rename store uh, message text and this one will rename as store transcription text and the way this was going to work is we now fetch that get uh, we'll get variables we only need the one and we need text rename get text so now we pass uh, that text in here and um, we need other things as well okay so we need to pass some other variables because what we're going to be looking at doing mm, do we you know what what we'll do is we'll just move uh, we will copy that module and I should just paste it Da, 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 da. set up filter I don't need that echo text message there and we'll delete that one there we'll delete that one there okay so we'll just pass that there and now we will echo text message And then we will determine uh, what actions we wish to add to that text message. And finally, we will update. So we're essentially sending the message without action buttons, and then we'll send the message again with, um, with the action buttons. That should look nice. Uh, chat ID. Uh, we're going to update the message that came back from here. The original text was the text that we sent here um, and what we want is reply markup and uh, we'll talk about uh, I'm still learning but we'll, we'll talk about how we do uh, the buttons in another video but essentially we'll assume that the AI is producing the correct markup and we're just going to pass that in so now let's give this a try uh, let's just type this text in So there we go, it came all the way here. The AI came up with a button name um, and put the button there. And if we do the same thing, uh, what is the weather in Brisbane? And we have to uh, run that, use existing data. You can see it's, so we saw that it did the transcription. It set the variable to what is the weather in Brisbane. Then it came down to our catch-all route. Listen, sorry, it's not a catch-all route, it's just our third route. Um, we skipped this one. We came down here, we retrieved the variable, and this is sort of our way of doing the converger pattern. Is we set variables and then we can fetch variables. And then we went off and we echoed it. And then we went and figured out what actions we'd like to take. Um, oops, and that was sort of like the idea of like the text would be look up weather with some sort of action called call or look up weather. And then we updated our message to include those buttons. And here it was there. So there we have it. We've figured out how we could have a path that was split into two, but then converged back so we can have complex behavior uh, described once. Uh, and now I can iterate on this complex behavior, um, make it work and know that it will work for both audio and text. So that's a pretty powerful pattern. Uh, you can read more about it in the converger document. Um, they use the data store uh, here. Um, I've just used uh, the set variable and get variable. Um, which uh, they are also, you know, in the section on JSON, they also talk about using the set variable. And so, uh, so yeah, that's going to be pretty powerful. And uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.